All right, so the burger that I made for Cali Burger, we're calling it a smokehouse burger. And uh, what I wanted was to highlight one of the world's most famous burger combinations, which is basically a bacon cheeseburger. So my inspiration was how do I make it, how do I update it, how do I upgrade it? First, I thought about the experience. I wanted people, I wanted it to look great. You know, it's stacked, it looks interesting, there's sauces, there's textures, just looking at it. If you smell it, I wanted it to smell kind of like a barbecue pit, like you're traveling in an American countryside where they, where they make barbecues on the grill. So I wanted it smoky, I wanted a little scent of aroma like maple syrup. That's why I made this with a maple mustard mayonnaise and garlic aioli and then the here we have some uh, crispy onion rings which we spice with our secret spice. So that's uh, some paprika in there and other secret stuff. And what that does is it adds that aroma and when you dig into it, there's that nice crunch. And the crunch combines with the oozing melting cheese, the nice sauce, the pickles, the freshness of the tomato, the onion, and then of course the smoky bacon. And then the burger, it's just, it's just amazing. It's a burger that I would want to eat. So that's what I'm giving to everyone today. I decided to introduce the Smokehouse Burger, the Cali Burger, pretty much because a bacon cheeseburger is the most popular burger in the whole world. And what I wanted to do was just elevate it. Add layers and layers of flavor, texture, and aroma. Smell, bite, taste, it's all here. Okay, so what I want this burger to taste like is, uh, number one, it ha the beef has to come out and everything else complements the meat. Because we have really good meat and really good cheese. So the onion rings, it has a nice smoky flavor. That's why we're calling it a smokehouse burger. And the bacon is smoked as well. And then to complement the smoke, the maple syrup combined with the mustard gives it a nice aromatic aroma. And then the pickles just cut through all that richness so that every bite, you want to take another one. Uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm out for lunch or it's a, if it's a cheat day, I would go with a milkshake any day because it, it kind of acts as a dessert. And you can have a burger and milkshake in between bites. You're going back from your main course and your dessert. It's just indulgence. Now, uh, after a long day's work, I would always choose the beer to relax. So I can enjoy my burger, nice ice cold beer, get the edge off, and then all my stress for the whole day is just gone and I'm just having fun. My three reasons for having this burger is, well, number one, it's a really, really good burger to have. So if you're a burger fanatic, go ahead, have it. It's familiar enough, the bacon and cheese idea is there, but then it's original enough with the maple syrup and the smoky onions. Number two, burgers are meant to be had with friends. So sometimes you come here to Cali Burger and just have it with your barcada, after work, before gimmick, before the movie, whatever. It's meant to be had with friends and Sometimes they say, you know, company is best around food. And lastly, why I would have this burger is just because, look at all that layers. Each layer has so much flavor. One bite, it takes you somewhere else.